Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.network for your independent wrestling entertainment. Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Just Pro Wrestling News Podcast. No filler, no pop-ups. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you, supporting us at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. The Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is a special edition of the Wrestling Mayhem Show at Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are live on a Friday night. Maybe you're catching us in the podcast feed later or uh, on the video streams later on as our supplemental material as we take a couple weeks off. But this is the STD Christmas special as we do every year. And as we do every year, first of all, we are joined by one chess flexor. Hello, Hello sir. Here Hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Happy Christmas. New year. It's a Christmas miracle. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> is that what that's is that the Christmas miracle that's sound? Miracle is miracle. that what's happening? <laughs> You're gonna superimpose like White feathers falling down onto me. I, I'm not, but la, 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 uh, we, la, 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 we're la, la, la. we're live, pal. And me, I didn't, me, me, me. we didn't load that. We're live. Oh, yeah, we're live, pal. Where's your Where's your truck sheet? I don't, I don't see that on here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Flexer, how you been doing? Uh, pretty good. I pretty heard good. you had some stuff going on. We'll get to that a little bit later in the show. Here, you, you've had some life changes. That's that's cool. That's cool. We're gonna talk about that right here, right now. Right now, not right now, right now. Because first of all, we have more people with us. We have some more STDs with us. We are, uh, we are. Uh, who's in the studio? Who's in the studio? Who could possibly be in the studio? Boom! <laughs> Holy crap! Hey! Cheers. First of all, yes, that is Corey Futuristic in the background there. Yes. Hello, in the hello. Dark, in the darkness. In the darkness. That's all. No, you're well lit. You're fine. You're well lit. We're just hiding all the mess back there because we're moving. So not very far, but we are moving for 2022. Don't worry. We'll talk about that later. But anyways, actually, actually, if you watch the podcast from the week to week, you have no idea that we've done anything in 2022, pro- most likely. So, but the move, but also. The bowler, the kingpin, Brian McDowell is with us. Lord of the lanes. First time in Sorgatron Media Studios, right? Indeed. Yes. Uh, you, I'm you, glad to be here. You you were reminiscing of the uh, the basement days, I think, uh, before, right? Yes, I was. That's right. So so you, which is probably the last time you were wrestling, too. So, <laughs> right? Uh, well, I don't know how many STD specials no, I've, came back I've been here that. for, but I know the first one was great, and that was in your basement. Okay. The rest of them, I'm not so sure. And now he's here again. And now he's and now here. here. Now he's here. Now he's here. Now he's here again. Thank you, sir. We'll talk. We'll talk a little bit about that. Um, uh, uh, uh here in a bit. Uh, but uh, but but uh, but you just made your return at 2PW. My debut. Like your debut at 2PW. Return yes. to wrestling at at 2PW. That's right. I heard people lost their damn minds. I think I broke the internet. You broke the internet? Yes. Like, was it on the internet? Did we put it on the internet? I don't think we streamed that <laughs> I think one. You could actually, uh, did you buy it? Did you? Can't you? Flexor, it was did, all Flexor, over the internet. Flexor, did you did you catch him up on how we do wrestling shows now <laughs> since he's been gone? Listen, technology has changed a lot in the past couple of years. <laughs> Apparently, you were also off the internet that whole time too, right? He pretty much was. <laughs> really. Just it's in the, on lanes. the internet. In the Shut lanes. down his Facebook. It broke TikTok. <laughs> million followers immediately after. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. You relaunched you launched all your accounts when they when when you debuted, right? So you're like uh I mean you're bigger than Lady Gaga, right? Right before you walked well, through the curtain, no he, hit, he hit he hit the on button on all social media platforms. There you go. There you go. Those uh rumor magazines at the grocery stores were like Jayla is leaving Ben Affleck for Brian McDowell. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Um, uh, 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 Kingpin Low. King Low. King Low. That's it. Is that Low Pin? J Pin? I like that. Is that your name, J Pin? <laughs> yeah, sure. Is that your couple name? Sure. Sure? <laughs> <laughs> Just don't strike her, but you can pin her. That's I do need bowler babes, Sork, so I'm glad you brought this bowler up. Bowler babes. You know, I, I remember a bowler babe. I, Anthony Green had the 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 babes when he came out when we saw him a few years ago, right? He lost those somehow in, in NXT. But uh but uh, no, I think the bowler babes would be a really good upgrade for you. Absolutely. We'll see what happens. See what happens. See what happens. I'm sure you can find some bowler babes 
in Butler, PA tomorrow night for 2PW. I don't know so. if you want those Butler, PA babes. But oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't say you want, but I mean, you could get them, right? I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. I don't know. You know, maybe they'll, you know, Doink the Clown's going to be there. Maybe he'll be there with some juggalettes. <laughs> Is be it a, the ghost of Doink the Clown, or um, I think it's like—is it like Marvel? You know how there's like Hawkeye two, That's and a like good point. S- somebody else takes up the mantle. Is this son of Doink? Maybe another dimension. Oh boy! Oh, is there a box Uh-oh. truck on the tracks? There's another box truck on the tracks. Is that what's happening out there? <laughs> yeah, we, it's been exciting tonight. Yeah, yeah, and I'm I'm not listening to those on the internet that tell me to light the box trucks on fire that are blocking the trains or my driveway. Uh, but anyways, uh, so, uh, but we are rolling here. Uh, uh so so I want to talk I want to talk to Bowler a little bit before we get into the Christmas festivities more because I mean, uh, <laughs> get that look. <laughs> I, this is a momentous occasion. I mean, there's more momentous occasions we'll get to, of course. It's been a year, but we got to start first one in front of us. So so how has the Buller been dealing with his keep, keep staying on the lanes during COVID? You can't go into the lanes. Are you are you are you backyard bowling? Did you build your own? Did you did you did you is it does it look like the Undertaker when he built the big Kamala uh, 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 casket? Uh, casket? But, you know, a uh, 100 yards or whatever, a bowling lane. I used to be a buller. I should know the length of a bowling lane, but I absolutely don't. Uh, but I did build my own, yes. Okay. I had to. All right. Uh, for legal reasons, I cannot say, and I don't want to tell all the marks out there where it is. I, I know. The uh, the Athletic Bowling Commission own. is going to get uh, up for you for backyard bowling, right? <laughs> so. Now, since lumber was so expensive, well, what did backyard you use? Bowling. Yeah, what would you, yeah, what was your lumber alternative? <laughs> You wouldn't believe me if what? I told you. So uh, I try me. <laughs> Was try it melted me. down bowling balls? That's what I want to know. You have mm-hmm. so many bowling balls, trophies that you want. That would be really expensive. You guys act like bowling alleys were like shut down, shut down for a long Everything time. Everything was wasn't shut even... down. Everything was. That's a social place. Mm, you ever try to social on, distance at, the most, at a bowling? There was like maybe four months where you couldn't go bowling. That's important when you're it's somebody who's a top bowling athlete like. The kingpin. Well, Brian's been focusing more on MMA lately, so <laughs> like you know, CM Punk came out with like the MMA trunks. Like Brian might do that tomorrow. Oh, really? Is that what's happening? I, I'm not is even. This, do we I also? Have no idea what you're talking. We're gonna about, come. Corey. Wait, wait. Was he gonna come out with MMA gear and a and a and some sur- a surprising amount of tattoos we never knew about? <laughs> Haven't you been doing MMA training? <laughs> Yeah. Let's move on. Let's move have on. You've been doing Let's less wrestling. Wait, have you been doing less wrestling and more MMA? What? <laughs> sure, what? Sure, that would make sense. <laughs> hmm. I just want to make sure the bowling game's up to stuff. I want to make sure you haven't lost a step here. That's important to me. Right How many three hundreds have you rolled in the past two years? I bowl today. I bowl every morning, sort. I every morning. Today, I go from the weight room to the bowling alley every day. Wake and bowl. That's it. Wake and bowl. Wake and bowl. That's how you do it. That you get a good rub down with it. a towel. That needs to be the pro wrestling tease. Wake and bowl. That's actually a really good idea. New t-shirt. Who would buy that? Ask the... Who would buy that There shirt? you go. If you're with People us on the chat there. room, wherever you may be, wake and bowl, or do you be down with that on a what a maneuver pro wrestling tease, whatever you may choose <laughs> out there. Um, so, uh, but anyways... So 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 with that, so this is the Christmas special, Flexer. I know we do we usually do some some pretty special, you know, maybe gift giving things like that for for the uh, for the Christmas special, correct? Mm-hmm. Like In I didn't fact, know. We do. Yes, we do. we do. Yes, we do. Uh, but uh, we we wanted to do something a little different today. Hanukkah? No, no. We we did the, we did the Hanukkah special at the beginning of the month. Actually, the end of the last month. Um, so we try to do it with Ziggy, but you know, uh, so, so, but there, you, you know, cr- Christmas is fine, but you had a very special, uh, announcement earlier this week. And, and I'm actually going to roll this for the home people so they can, they can catch up on what's going on here. Uh, check this out.
There you go. Coming February 2022, Baby Flexor is coming. So, like, well, first of all, first of all, I, I, I'm sure we've said that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the look through the entire time, right? Is that the look when you found out? I'm going to be a dad. You're, yeah, I know. He that's just a... found out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be a dad. Corey, I'm going to be a dad. <laughs> Brian, do you know what that means? Or who's the father? Are you the father? I Ginger's so. pregnant. That's all that we know. We will take the tests. We need to call the professor up to do some experiments to find the DNA and test to make sure it's genetically matched to myself. Oh, jeez. Oh, Where geez. is that professor? <laughs> professor, <laughs> is that you out there? <laughs> I think that was the Green Goblin walking by. Uh, that, was, <laughs> that, was, that was pretty wild. Spider-Man spoilers. Let's go. Uh, yeah, well, well, I mean, we've seen the commercials. Come on. Um, <laughs> I don't know everybody is. But no, so Flexor, instead of our usual Christmas festivities, this is your baby shower. Get the f- this is your baby what? shower. Yep. What? I knew about this. I took a shower thing. before I no, came No, no, it's a baby shower. <laughs> this is what people do Isn't that illegal when friends are having country? a baby and I they mean... throw a shower for them. I don't understand where the word shower comes in. We shower you with gifts Wait, and good tidings. What do you what's got there? That? What's that? Well, what, what, what's gifts. that? These... Wait, wait, what, what, what? I had these gifts. These were the Christmas. Well, I mean gifts. that's okay too. We can do Christmas too, but I no, mean, I just want to make sure there's a baby shower. But you I mean, what, what 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 are you doing? What are you doing with those? These? Yeah. What happens with these now? What what are you, you doing? No Christmas. No Christmas gifts. Hold on a second. Hold on. What are you doing? Hold on. I want this. This is done with me. Okay. Oh. Hey! Oh jeez. No Christmas gifts for anyone. No Christmas? No Christmas gift. Okay, I um. Oh man. Where's it? Why? Okay. Those were um, expensive, dude. Yeah. Was that a hard drive in there? What? I'm keeping the hard drive. Where's he going? <laughs> He's going outside. He went outside. Seems really irresponsible. Is of it, us, I for th- us to put a baby in a shower? Is that what you yeah, guys Yeah, there's want that. Do? There's that too. Um. So he's gone. I think he. He okay. Uh, I hope he comes so back. back. I'm hoping he's, he's coming back. This is hope this is gonna be the most awkward. It's already the most awkward baby shower. Leaving, is this how all baby showers go? I don't know that I've attended one. So I mean, do you guys have any baby shower experience? Where where'd he go? He went down do the not. street. I do no, I've never been to a baby shower. You forgot your phone, sir. Yeah. Uh I stuck in the the, the, the box stuck out there. I stuck it in there, I left the whole damn thing on the ground. Okay, okay. Well, the Port Authority will be happy with that. Um, okay. Well, uh, <laughs> no more Christmas. No you. more Christmas. Okay. Well, well, I got next well, year. Maybe. I got good news. Um, there's there's a bag behind you. Don't don't destroy it. Ginger, look look over your shoulder. This this is this is for you. These Aww. are your baby shower gifts for me. Yes. These are for me. Yes. Did I, what did I do to deserve to get this? You procreated, apparently. You're the most <laughs> you're the most oh, fertile me. person in this room right now. Or at least you were at one point. Well, okay, so you got oh, a card. We got there, there, there's a card. This is from all of us here at the Mayhem Show. Hmm. We'll, 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 we'll read us. What does the card say? It's gonna be a card with Wait. sexy firemen in it. Ah, that makes naked. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's might be some extra special things in there. Congratulations He's, on having. S-E-X. With a woman, you're having a baby to prove it. That's just on the outside of the card. <laughs> yes. Isn't. Hello. And that was in cursive. I could read cursive. There you go. There you go. It was a, a nice, nice speech bubble there. You can tell that was somebody else that wrote that and not me. <laughs> so it's a card. It says... <clears throat> Being a dad is flat out crazy at times. <laughs> and you're going to be crazy good at it. Sort. P.S. Good luck. Very nice. Am I going to need luck? What's well, I, I mean, what's going on? I'm hoping. It's a baby. I'm hoping. Yeah, it's a baby. I did my job. 
What could go wrong? It's a team effort. You die. It, it takes a village, if you will. Or the village people. I don't know. I don't exactly know how that phrase goes. I don't have kids. Did you know about did you know about this, Brian? I did not. Corey knew about yeah, this. Because he's from it. the future. He knows about all this stuff. Yes. Uh, obviously. Obviously. You know what? I don't wanna I don't wanna kinda like you know burst the bubble, but I actually have tissue paper already. I just brought it with oh, me. Oh, okay. In the dumpster. I mean, in, oh, oh the okay. Truck, whatever it is. Well, you have more now. You have more now. Okay. Well, thanks. And it can come in handy later. Oh, there's more stuff in there. There's, there's more stuff in there. Stuff in there. <laughs> what the hell is Hold it? On. Yeah. I figured only a... Is this know. Christmas or this a baby This is the showering part. The bag, the, we shower you with gifts for the baby. <laughs> he's, covered, he's covered in tissue paper now. He's covered in Why tissue would paper. Why there be more stuff in there? I mean... The card and the bag. That would you thought the card. The, 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 I mean, the bag isn't for the card. All right. So you got. What do you got there? Tell tell everybody what you got. Is there an order? No, I don't I think so. No, out? I don't think so. So it that is uh, that looks like some Nerf guns. It's a pair of Nerf like mini Nerf guns, right? It's a uh, V two Hero two pack. Okay. Eight Hero pre precision darts up to fifty feet. And I think there's a note on there. Correct. It says for mom and dad. Okay. To battle over whose turn it is for the next diaper change. There you go. <laughs> what if I just keep both of these and I double pop 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 Jims, you better get in there. Wipe that booty. Pop 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 pow. However you get. I mean, we only provide the tools. How how it works out with your team effort is mm -hmm. up to you. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. This. But wait, there's more. More. There's more in the bag. But more than just Let's tissue paper. See Let's see. Let's see what we got here. That's very good handwriting, Sorg. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> there you go. All right, what is that? It says it on both sides. So I can read the the special note on this side. Mm -hmm. It says, perfect for the dad to be, which would be yes, me. It's your dad bought in progress koozie. What can I stick in this koozie? Um, There's a beer over there, sir. I could stick anything. You got a beer? You got a beer over there? I can get this There's pregnant if I wanted there. to. Uh, well, I don't know if that's um, against use. So <laughs> it doesn't say not to. No, <laughs> it doesn't say not to. Wait, let's get a beer in that thing. Beer. You got a beer over there? I do not. I have more gifts. Oh, you do have more gifts. Is it one more? Let's pull this out. Let's, let's, you know, let's pull this tissue paper out. That's really hindering my experience here. So, why'd you put a lot of tissue paper in there? <laughs> That's a lot going on. I think there's one more item. Ah, there, there's one recall. more item. Yes. All right. So, all right. It's a mask. It says for that really messy diaper change. I mean, you've seen three men and a baby. You know how that goes. This will be one chest and a gin. What is going on here? Like, there you go. So, so did you get this for him, sword? Dude, yes, this is, is a baby some... shower. We we got these for him quack, because quack. we know parenthood is hard. I'm not sure if Sorg actually did this or if this is a sick joke that Flexer came up with, but this is very. Strange. I will. Ha I'll have you know, Chess Flexer had nothing to do with this <laughs> except for the fact that he had a ba he has a baby coming. Yeah, I feel like I'm in Bizarro World. <laughs> you kids, or you don't have kids, right? No, I don't have. What kids. about that? Uh, no, I don't have kids. That lady in Thailand, or was it a lady? I don't know. I uh, well, there's sort of a question kids. mark too. Everybody knows Sorg has. Kids. I don't have kids. You, you're just you, supposed to not speak about you, it anymore. The wrestlers aren't my children. I, just, <laughs> wow. I suppose. Put that wine in there. That, you've been adopted, Brian. Warrior, you've been man. adopted. I probably was. No, I'm saying now you've been adopted. You're one of Sorg's <laughs> kids. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. We have um, toys Look at this. and things. Thank you very much, man. So I'm, I'm hoping sure. that's helpful for you. I'm sure it will be. I mean, I could send TikTok videos or whatever. So you'll be at 2PW tomorrow, Sword? I will be at 2PW tomorrow, <laughs> yes. Wherever that may be. In, but in Butler, PA, with a Doink the Clown, or Son of Doink, or whatever that is. Mm -hmm. um, Ghost of Doink. Uh, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how that goes. So, mm -hmm. uh, um, so I hope I hope those work well. I know they're not like brand nerf or anything like that, but uh, you know, I, I you know also never know because you know how things are with kids. Yeah, so. it is the final two PW show of the year. 
And is it pro- possibly the last wrestling show in Pittsburgh? Uh, to my awareness, of yes. The year? I'm not aware of any other any other wrestling events after this in the greater yep. Pittsburgh area. Wow. So, so go so, see the last show of 2021. Yes. Or if you catch this later, it should be up by then. Or on I guess indie, uh, indie w- WWE's coming in. I think before the end of the year. That is true. I believe the Tuesday after Christmas. So. Aren't they a sports entertainment company? That yeah, that's true. Yeah, they kind of barely count, don't they? Mm-hmm. So we will actually be there, and we're going to be announcing. Um, I think it might be an opportunity for people to join us for that show, and we're we're working on those details right now as of this recording. Okay. So he's he's opening the uh, he's opening the uh, the hardware. Just don't point that at anybody out the window because that's how the cops get called. I think. <laughs> I mean, they are very bright, so I don't think they're going to get mistaken or anything like that. But uh, do you think I would ever point a gun at anyone? No, oh God. no, I don't think you. No. <laughs> well, there was that one time. You listen. That's there's only true. once in my life where I've stared down the barrel of a gun, and I think Chess Flexor was there in the building, and that's all I want to say on that. Who was? Who was? Who was? Who would point a gun at Soy? Okay. You, that's what I want to know. That's. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Who would do it? <laughs> who? Huh? Who? Tell me. Who? You tell who? me. No. Who? 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 Jeez. Okay, back to business. Back to Look business. Shower. I've been showered with gifts. Yeah, be serious, guys. Come yes, on. you have. And just to put the <laughs> in case, because I'm sure the I'm sure the question if, if people just to catch people up, we do have another video here that you released over the last couple of months, and uh, You're it's on my OnlyFans. It, from this? your OnlyFans, and we're gonna we're gonna show that right now. It's time. Time for what? Time to find out what the baby is. You mean like a skier or a snowboarder? No. Like a wrestler or a wrestler? No. What do you mean? Like if it's a boy or a girl. But we've already known whether it's a boy or a girl. We've known since the beginning of August. Before anybody even knew you were pregnant. Yeah, no, it's time for everyone else to know. Well, how are we going to do that? With the cake. Oh. We are back, and there you go. It's a girl. You know what that means. What does that mean? I was told that with a boy, you have to watch out for one PP, but with a girl, you watch out for all the PPs. What? What? <laughs> Penises. Because all now. <laughs> oh, 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 I got you. I got you. Very I don't creepy. Spell it out. Ben, I, I, don't know, I don't know if that's better or worse for you. Yeah, I don't know how that works strange. out. Yeah, <laughs> so how are you gonna, like, like somewhere down the line, like she's gonna bring home, she's gonna bring a boy home, or a girl. I don't know. You know, it's her choice, and and you know, one day, like, is Chess Flexor gonna be like the, like the the, like the girlfriend's dad that I experienced that cleaned their gun in front of me? I mean, you are, I just gave you guns, so there's something to clean right there, I guess. But are you going to be cleaning the Nerf gun in front of them? I might. You might? <laughs> Polishing it We're up like, so, so where are you going tonight with my daughter? 
Are you allergic to styrofoam? <laughs> I'm about to shoot this up your dick hole. Hmm? <clears throat> you gonna mess with my daughter? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I think you would be nice if your daughter brought home some boyfriend. Maybe I'd get him drunk on a podcast. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when do you think she's going to be dating? That's not Show it to his parents. <laughs> Show it to his parents. Do you want me to release this to the public, huh? You're already you're already getting the blackmailing like like started. Actually, I've I've a legit you could ask Ginger about this. I talked to her about it. Okay. I think my daughter needs to marry a Saudi prince. Mm -hmm. And then or a Lebanon don? She no. A no? Saudi prince? No. Okay. Because I don't, I, I respect Lebanon Don enough. And listen, I'm not saying this. We're we're not gonna po repost this if something happens crazy. Mm -hmm. But let's just say my daughter marries a Saudi prince. She becomes the princess of Saudi Arabia. Okay. Then my son-in-law's father dies. So then he becomes the king of Saudi Arabia. My daughter becomes the queen of Saudi Arabia. And then something happens, and you know maybe the my son-in-law dies, and, and you, then I become king of Saudi Arabia, and main event WWE crown jewel. That could happen. I think that all connects, right? So in a few years from now, you 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 know I might be the king of Saudi Arabia, and I don't want Lebanon Don to die, so you better not touch my daughter. <laughs> What's some of the names you're considering? Didn't you come up with some weird names that you were considering? Weird names? Could... No weird names. I like... Uh, Perfectly normal names. Trixie a lot, but Ginge thinks that's a whore's name. Trixie Flexor? He's mm -hmm. not going to tell us on, on this. I hope not. Brian, if you had to pick a girl's name, what name would you pick? Oh, not necessarily for my daughter. Let's say your daughter. Oh, God. Yes, who's uh, uh, Baby Kingpin's uh, name? Miss Baby King Kingpin. I don't know. I don't know. But I will say that I like Ashley as a name. I'm not saying that I would name my daughter Ashley. Okay. Or ever hope that I have a daughter. So, But I, I like the name Ashley, if that answers your question. It does. It's a pretty name, right? What do you think, Corey? I don't know. <laughs> what would you pick? Uh, Probably, like, Bean or something, I would name uh, my kid like Bean. Yeah, like Taco or something like that. <laughs> what? What would the middle name be? Like Poop or something. Taco Poop. Futuristic. <laughs> Taco Chalupa Futuristic. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. how, about, how about you, Sorg? I don't think it'd be a taco. That's no a name for a girl. Um. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe an Amy. How would you spell? Okay. How would you spell it? Uh, I was say Amy. You know. Sure. Okay. Sure. <laughs> All right. So you Nothing seen, exciting. That's yeah. You seen Spider Man, right, Sword? I did see Spider Man. We're not going to spoil Spider Man for anybody. It was good though. It was very good. That was a good movie. <laughs> Corey's like, I don't want to talk about girls' names anymore. <laughs> Let's talk about Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Man was good. That was a high highlight of my day yesterday. Who's the heel in this? In what? In Spider Man. Uh, I don't Just think we. I think I don't people. think we're allowed that to say spoiler? that. Okay. I think that's you can't spoiler. Tell me who he that's fights. technically a spoiler. Like who the big bad is. I think I know spoiler. who it is, but I'm not sure. I who, won't who do you that. think I it is? I think it. Vulture's it's not, in it. They you think in Vulture's in it? No. Vulture's in the. No, the previews. I, he's no. not. No, he's no, not. The actually, was know, Michael isn't. Keaton in the first one. Yeah, you're you're thinking the Morbius trailers, aren't you? <laughs> I thought I saw that. Uh, what are you? Sandman. Okay, it doesn't matter. Don't worry. <laughs> Sandman from ECW. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, yes. not yeah. Sandman from ECW. <laughs> um, Just tell me who the heel is. Let me know what happens in the last 20 minutes of the movie. Oh, J James Franco, he's the heel in it. Yes, it's James is he Franco. In that, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> he's in a lot of trouble sure. right now. Isn't sure, sure, Brian. James yeah. Franco's in a, is a, in a ton of is trouble. Is he? What do he do? Like, I don't, I'm not James aware. James Franco, he's hitting on that Zendaya, that MJ in it. <laughs> James Franco being in trouble is the same time that Sandman was in a Spider Man movie. Right? 
I don't. I'm saying that it could be. Sam is Brian Anderson. like? He hasn't is, been in is one. Is Brian yet, really though. not seen anything or done anything since he's last been in wrestling? <laughs> Sandman is in the Spider-Man you know, comics. He's, you know, he's you know, Spider-Man heel. He's Brian, yeah, Brian, you know Obama isn't president anymore, right? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, we had a dip, but it's coming Corey, back. how did you find Brian? Did you, like, pick him up from the past in your time machine and bring him here? He was in some really old bowling alley that I thought oh, closed down a I couple feel years like, ago. I feel like Brian's appearance is just like the appearance of all the people in the Spider-Man movie. Like, <laughs> like... We just, he just appeared, you know, in the same state of where he was, mm-hmm. you know, now we need, no, I'm not going to say the rest of the part because this is a spoiler, but it'd be a really good storyline with Brian. Uh, so <laughs> this Corey, remember they had to do the thing with the, with the, with the guys, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And remember, remember, imagine if Brian was the guys and they had to do the thing to, for him. So that he didn't yeah. die when he went back. This is in the trailer. Where yes. D- dimensions collided. Bri- yeah. Brian comes back. Wait, wait. Are you our Brian? Are you somebody else's Brian? <laughs> Brian comes back. HD Cannon. Uh, <laughs> Are you from in a universe where I'm Andrew Garfield? Maybe. Maybe I am. I think I accidentally spoiled Spider Man. Um, Where's Pump Ferrari? Where's Pump? Are you? Are you pumped, Ferrari? Oh, maybe I am. It's a blast from the past. Spider Man. How long is this movie? Is uh, this like three uh, hours, like the last. Two and a half it's like hours. yeah, it's like two and a half. So it's hours. pretty long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But still, it's good, but I also had like yeah. I had a legit half hour of previews before the movie started too. That didn't. Oh, help. That, that did not sucks. help the bladder. That's. That did I not went help to the, the Dormont Theater, so didn't have that many. I yet. almost went there. I almost went yeah, there. I went to. Nice. I went to the. Uh, the. Uh, the. The. Mount Lebanon Galleria. You know, the fancy oh, one. Yeah, that Had was almost nobody pick. in there. It was fantastic. Fantastic. You have to wear masks in, in theaters now. Um, no. Well, they, yeah, they they prefer it, but you don't. You're, you're sitting there eating popcorn. You can take the mask off, right? Yeah. Thank God. So, were, were there uh, any previews before Spider-Man of movies that we might have not known about? Or is it all pretty mm-hmm. much stuff uh, that we screened? The one with the lady from Shang-Chi. That's basically the same plot as Spider Man <laughs> and Loki. There's a uh, she's the one that was um she was the evil captain in uh, Star Trek Discovery in the first season. Um, but uh, yeah, there's something where she has like multiple versions of herself, and it's a very multi. What does that have thing. to do with Spider Man? Has nothing to do with Spider Man except it was before Spider Man, and also has to deal with the multiverse. So now multiverse concepts is not just for superheroes; it's also for art house films. So it's really come around. And Wrestling Mayhem shows. What? And Wrestling Mayhem shows. And Wrestling Mayhem. Yep. Which is this Brian? your favorite Spider-Man movie? Or superhero movie? Ooh. Ah. Mm. How good is it? I mean, opinion? it's no Endgame or anything. It's, uh, it's uh, man. It's, yeah, it's Endgame is th- better, but it's up there. It's top. Top five, maybe. Top five, and three of those are Spider-Man. It's really because they they're really the top um side of between like the Spider Man's the first Iron, Iron Man, I don't know the the great thing about Marvel movies for me is uh is they're infinitely rewatchable for me for the most part like I can't think of too many that are not. It's all just CGI though, isn't it? No, I'm wait, just wait, 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 wait. This is what people so? say. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So? I can this tell is you it's people's better. knock on them. It's better than it's it's, it, it's better than either Venom movie. <laughs> Uh, especially the second one. Um, um, the the I second, liked the second Venom though. <laughs> really? He, yeah. It, yeah, I feel like it was missing. It was kind of goofy, but I still liked it. I feel like it was missing a quarter of the movie. I didn't see those. It mm-hmm. felt too short. It like, w- I was still fine with it. It had action. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was a simple story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was it was it was like more of the same. It was like a nice. It was a nice. The uh, 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 there's one from Marvel that are worse than that. There's some that haven't aged as well i don't what? think which ones do you think uh i'm trying to think what like thor dark age good. i know yeah that's a bad could one. be rough like i would never watch ant-man the first one again i love the first ant-man i like the second one although i just watched uh uh Shrink- thor 2 and thor 1 are pretty crappy i like really? thor 3 okay yeah yeah ragnarok's absolutely good all the guardians mm. guardians are pretty there's good. a lot of them that like if you watch them the first avengers isn't that great uh, because they've done so much more with it since, right? 
Yeah. I mean, you got to get past the first uh, Even couple. the second Avengers, isn't that? The third and fourth one are obviously, like, the best ever. But yeah, yeah. Other ones are crap. Second one kind of tripped a What's little bit. What's the best movie of this year since the year's ending? <laughs> Shang-Chi was pretty good, too. Suicide Squad. Oh, uh, yeah. Suicide Squad was probably uh, the nothing, best Nothing beats movie. Suicide Squad right now, this year. Yeah, that is period. a good pick. Yeah. I it, liked it, Sorg, but I didn't love it too much. I love. I it. think Cena's just like, like he's a weirdo in it. Like he's, he's not, a weirdo. He is a weirdo. <laughs> but that's know. the point: I, is he's a weirdo. We had this long talk about all three of us did actually about Suicide Squad. It should have been broken down into three movies. First of all, what? they could have broke that movie what? down and dragged it. it never would have made it. Yes, never would have made it. it when good. the star thing is over them and they're all like. You know, circling up, and you know, it could have ended right there. Then it's like, oh shit, what happens now? They're gonna get eaten by this big starfish thing, and that could have been the start of the second movie. I think we had to make sure they they got another movie at that point because the first one didn't do so good. So That's I'm surprised we got that that take. It on was it, right? really good. I watched it a couple times. Oh, over me too. Me too. too. I have uh, the, a lot of the soundtracks on my playlist. Yeah. So definitely. like, I'm a big Godson fan now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it was, it was really good, really, really good. It, it was like it had so much in it. it. It's like if Guardians wasn't in space and yeah, had blood and nudity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, you know, if you took the handcuffs off for that, you know, it'd be all right. Brian, so. do you think it would have done better as like an eight-part series? No, but I like, say like Band of Brothers two movies, maybe three. And I wish that Cena was more serious in it. I know he's a badass character. But all the times that he's, you know, he's making all those dick jokes, it just, it takes him down from being a badass. Are you saying he's not classy? He's not a classy guy? I'm not saying that for him personally, but I think he should not have had those, you know, those those weird spots in there where he's like making all these dick jokes. Isn't that like his a thing though in movies? Like in a lot of the movies he's in, it's dick jokes. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, I, so, I guess that's I his thing. It. I don't like it though. I think it just, it brings you, him you from miss, up here to down here. You miss hustle, loyalty, and respect, John Cena. Is that it? You I want guess the good I old do. Days? If you want, I mean, I guess. I just, yeah, I don't you like it. You can't see the, me. Who wants the prototype? He's a serious the prototype? in the movie and he's not. You, you didn't listen to his album, right? I did not. You did. Oh, come on. I don't on. like rap. Uh, some rap. It's but. not rap. It's John Cena. <laughs> what was some of the worst movies you've seen in the year? Halloween was really bad, I think. That new Halloween that came out. I started watching ago. it and then realized I didn't watch the one before it, so I, I just bailed after 15 minutes. The one from a couple of years ago was kind of good, but this one, it was just like really bad acting and mm-hmm. terrible movie. It's give and take with those Bloomhouse films. Yeah. Yeah. There wasn't that many big movies this year. I'm trying to think what else came out. Mm. Nothing that good. Clifford, that wasn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think what else it was. I did see that was on Paramount. and It um, came um, out with another paranormal activity. I guess that was okay, but that shouldn't even be in the conversation we're having. Uh, no. Matrix next what week. What came out like January and February of this year? Nothing. I can't even think. Nothing. Yeah, absolutely nothing because of uh, yeah, because everything, everything was shut down. Off, kind of. No, they didn't really kick on until the summer. So and now we're just kind of stacked with stuff. So yeah, they even moved the uh, WWE's uh, CG Rumble movie uh, went straight to Paramount Plus this week uh, today. Actually, I think they just came out. So mm-hmm. you know they're they're still shuffling things around. Clifford's already on stream stream. Now I feel like I'm doing the tech podcast. Uh, so <laughs> um, and is this wife of the show? Just wipe the show, make sure I'm not cl- getting cleaned up off the floor. Mm. Who goes there? Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Wife of the show is here, making sure we behave. She is. Hello. So, have we been tested for STDs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I get my test after this show every year. Yes. Oh. Okay. I thought we were going to do an STD test on, on the air for a second. I we can. We like, is Surprise! that what you have in your hand? <laughs> is, is that what it's, what's on that clipboard? Give the test. Is that a questionnaire? Yes. Are, okay. Are you an STD? Are we going to all pee in a cup or something? <laughs> no, we're doing the uh, the swab up the urethra. Ooh. Oh. Oh. 
Mm-hmm. Haven't you had that before, Foxy? I have not. I'm lucky. <laughs> how, how much have you drank? <laughs> Bring it. Bring it. Bring the con swabs. Anyways. Um <laughs> so uh anyways, big year. Big big year coming up for Flexor. Um, so I mean, you're gonna be okay. Is this, is this gonna affect your wrestling schedule at all? Uh, I mean, tomorrow could be his last match. So, what? Yes, come to two PW. This could be my last match. It could be all of our last. Ma- you never know. Mm-hmm. Turns out you're all pregnant. It could be the last time we all team up together. We don't know if. Brian will be back after this match. It's a one-time thing. That's mm-hmm. the question. <laughs> will he even mm-hmm. show up tomorrow? I don't know. He is going to show up tomorrow, but unless I die on the way home, it what could the be hell? the last time. <laughs> or on the way going. Hey, tomorrow. on the I way on, on, on the way to another <laughs> wrestling event, he got into a multi-car pileup. His car was totaled. You know what? I was thinking about that the other day. What? And I and I Ubered to there. And I thought about it, and like, you know, what did I get for that? Did I get appreciation from that company? Not so much. But I was. I was in an eight-car pileup. My car was totaled. McKnight Road. On McKnight Road. And I Ubered to the Corchomp Sports Center, so that just gave away what company we're talking about. We're allowed to talk about them. I know Sorg I'm not not saying anything bad about them, but it's like, wow, that's pretty crazy. And who we wrestled? Uh... He fought and Leve, and we won. Nothing can stop you. Multi car Afterwards, you went to the doctor and they're like, "You have a severe concussion. How did you survive that match?" Who, who knows? Well, they say they say a wrestling match like is like going through a car wreck, a car crash multiple times. So really, you were just kind of preparing, right? It was just a warm up. <laughs> sure. We seen pictures of the accident. It was like Jim Ross voice, like my God. I'm surprised. I thought you were to say it was like Jim Ross's well, face. Maybe I wasn't fine, but as far you as walked away and right I didn't have any of those. So yeah, I'm kind of surprised. He was the only one that survived that crash. Too. <laughs> <laughs> he got out of his car and was like, "Good God Almighty!" Not because the accident. Like he he got out of the car and he blamed everybody else for the accident. So he went and murdered them. And then he came to, he stuffed them in their trunks, lit their cars on fire, then Ubered to uh, IWC Wrestling in Pittsburgh Court Time Sports Center. <laughs> Won our match. And I then did. he had to find a way home because his Uber app wasn't working. Speaking of murders, remember uh, <laughs> Professor Ryan Dye? Yeah. Good guy. Yeah, I mean, what? what happened? Did he die? No, he didn't <laughs> die. Uh, okay, I, that's what I thought it you was were It was a massacre trying. one time. Squirrel oh. Hill. Uh, nope. Well, he's been yeah, he's been unseen for a while. So mm. is he okay? I mean, uh, what you guys I don't know. Yeah, when is yeah. the last time we seen him? At I, the two years ago, then I talked to him a little while ago, and he said he's doing rather well. He said he's. I don't want to. I mean, I don't know how, what all he wants out there, but he he changed jobs. And he wants to get in great shape. So he's no longer a professor. Okay, that's fine. Comes back to wrestling as a construction worker gimmick. <laughs> what? <laughs> doom, doom, doom. <laughs> what is that? Is that his theme song? <laughs> yeah. He builds his own walkway to the ring. <laughs> he's a, he's a, he's basically a doozer from the Fraggles, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Pretty much just hacksaw Jim Duggan, but with construction stuff on and a. It comes out that he's a man. <laughs> Oh jeez! Oh jeez! So, any big plans for 2022, you guys? I, I mean, I have a lot of big plans. I mean, I think your your plans kind of uh, set themselves. Probably your big plan to come February is to get some sleep. My big plan in February is the plan that I have all the time to survive another day and to hopefully ins- ensure that the bowler. Can't even under hear you. The lens. That's because you, you don't have your. That's because you don't have these on. I knew there was a reason to put these on, so I can hear myself talk like this. My plan for 2022, especially February, is to make sure my daughter and my wife Ginger are doing well, and then I will venture off to wrestle, to ski, mm. to hopefully avoid 
being encapsulated by the men with the white coats. And maybe, just maybe, Corey will appreciate me next year. No. No. Damn it. Wow. You're going to abandon me for that stupid baby. <laughs> What Wait, are the, what are the odds Corey Corey has a baby next year? Cor- Corey is jealous of the a, child. Is do that a it? gimmick like Gene Snitsky where I get a fake baby and I punt it into the crowd like screw this baby, and then the camera cuts to me and I'm holding a uh, baby doll and Corey's <laughs> like oh shit I kicked the wrong one. <laughs> that sounds good. I would like that. When are we all gonna take a trip to Las Vegas? I've uh, <laughs> oh, I, 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 I've been once. Brian's been to I've Las been Vegas. Once. Yes. You've been to yeah, Las if you Vegas. want to, you can yeah. film the whole thing, so we're, we can make it a whole. Oh, I was in Las Vegas with sexy fireman and pump Ferrari. Yes, I could. I mean, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I'm not going to tell you what we did out there, the experiences we had. Could it really be any made. worse than Thailand? I mean, could it really? Is there anything in Vegas? Worse and untellable than a ping pong show. That's not my story to tell. <laughs> it's my story to edit the footage that we took it together, which is very tedious because I took like two hours worth of footage and I have it edited down currently to an hour and 12 minutes. Well, that's and not I would YouTube-able. like to get it to like eight minutes. It's going to be like the Beatles get back of Vegas trips. Mm-hmm. The director's cut will be sixty hours. <laughs> why are, why I'm are sure we, there's going to be someone who's going to pay me not to not to ever show anyone. Why is there fifteen minutes of you guys waiting for an Uber? There is actually like, <laughs> I mean, if you compile it all together, there's probably at least three minutes of us waiting for Ubers. I still need to watch the rest of the Beatles uh, documentary. It, uh, it's like good just because it's the Beatles, but it legit is them just like chilling, like yeah. making music, and you're. I don't know. My attention span is so bad from looking at your phone all the time and stuff. I can't pay really? attention to Weird. And if I clipped, <laughs> I haven't seen any of it. I've heard Howard Stern talk to it, talk about it. If I clipped like seven different minutes, would they all pretty much seem like you're watching the same minute? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'll pull out like a cigarette or something or like, I don't know. Yeah, it's not very interesting. Mm. I like uh, Hawkeye on Disney Plus. It's pretty yes. good. We got Bradley in the chat room, guys. Does he have any questions? Has anybody watched Yellow more, Jackets yet? More of a, I don't know that. It's a new show. It's a series. It might be on Showtime. Don't quote me on that. Okay. Ginger and I are watching it. It's it's okay. cheerleader movie. Pretty good. It's about so it's about uh, a soccer team, the Yellow Jackets, high school soccer team. They are going to like the nationals or whatever. They're flying. And the plane crashes on an island, and they must do whatever they can. To Teamwork. Survive. Teamwork or cannibalism. Does it go to cannibalism? Uh, Is it one of those stories? It hasn't yet. No? I, that's the twist? We will see. It's I. We just finished episode five today. I think it airs on Sundays after. It might. I'm guessing it's on Showtime, because I think it's like the Dexter New Blood mm-hmm. yellow jacket. I have to catch up on the Dexter. Um, Bradley says, please beat up Calvin, Tyler, and Chase tomorrow. I hate them all. He was giving, uh, trophy boy Tyler Klein a hickey in a picture I saw. On the whoa, internet. wait, what? whoa, 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 whoa. You know, Bradley put it up on this his is, Facebook page. I think Brian true. actually saw it on Instagram. I saw it. I did see it's it. Corey saw it on Twitter. Bradley's a fair weather fan, too. <laughs> is he? He was all about Calvin and Tyler, and then he started getting, uh, abused by them and now well, that's <laughs> the type of guys that they are they get all the fans and then they use them abuse them yeah and then the fans like okay us tds will cheer for you fuck yourselves yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay cheer for us again stds stds yeah no we don't need you you could be on our side but if you're gonna be on their side till they treat you like shit and then you're like okay i'm going to be an std fan Go buy a T-shirt off our off our web store. Buy buy Sorg's uh, online video on demand thing to watch us. Don't come up asking us for Bradley autographs. Bradley Rothers doesn't like butts either. I'll draw a butt on your face, Bradley Rothers. You turn coat. <laughs> what do you think about that, Brian? Can you believe the way the fans are acting nowadays? 
No, I can't. I think I, I mean, one of the reasons is that new wrestling company on TNT, but let, let's not go there. Wait, what? Let's not go there. Are they even on TNT still? Aren't they well, on TNT? Yeah, they're, they're, I don't, I don't they're fucking know. They're changing at the beginning them. of the year in I a couple weeks. I that shit. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> well, that'll get some heat. Uh, <laughs> all right. Will there be Bowler fans? Brian, is there going to be we'll an see. arena full of fans yeah. chanting Lord of the Lanes? Lord of the Lanes. We have a lot of people that always say that they're going to come, but we'll see if they actually do. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, we'll see. And maybe they'll be cheering for Chase Gold and the runaway. Anyhow, so I don't know. How many people, how many How many times do you hear Chase Gold in the crowd? Hmm? Mm-hmm. How many? A bunch. Those same people. Oh, hey, Just Black Sawyer, you want to sign this? Here's a question I'll for you it. guys. Why is, I, was, I don't know, why did Chase Gold align himself with the runway? What's his deal? I think it's... What's their deal? Let's call it, their, their new tag team should be called the Fashion Sense. There you go, Fashion Sense. Sense, like Chase Gold is the perfumey yeah, scent guy one. and the Fashionista runway team, the but, Fashion Sense. Hmm? You could have it. But this is that's their all first yours because I'm a nice as guy. A team, right? No. They're okay. Their second match. Second match. Okay, it, only yeah, second. You, match. you were in their first match. Oh yeah, right. Only second. <laughs> it match. was uh, like I know, like it was last month, but <laughs> only second match. Is he okay? Is he okay? Did you did you find him in like an asylum? I or don't something? think this is the Brian <laughs> from last is this, month. Is this <laughs> which which multiverse are you from? Like I said, Sorg, I've been bowling since 4 o'clock a.m. today. I'm very tired. Long day. How many Always. Hindu squats have you done? Always a long day. What's that? How many Hindu squats have you done today? I took it easy today because tomorrow we got a match. Okay. Don't want your legs to tighten up. No, no days off. No days off. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I take days off. <laughs> it's today. It's today's a day you off. You have to take days tomorrow's... off. That's right. You recovered it. Now, what? It. What are the what? What uh, can we get uh, suggestions? Bradley's in the chat, maybe still. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Suggestions. What three man team maneuvers would you like to see tomorrow? And be realistic. <laughs> I think uh, the seven ten split is the obvious one. A three man move, Sorg. Well, well seven. I hold a leg. Corey There's a seven, a ten, and a split. What do you okay. want? Okay. I don't know. Figure it out. Well, you're I the think you're team. definitely going to see that. I mean. Okay. Unless they can stop it. I don't know. Can they stop it? Well, we're going to have to have the referee check them because you know they like to carry weapons to the ring. They yes. say Corey has a weapon in his arm, but uh, they carry uh, lethal weapons. Here's a question. What uh, What match... Do the fans think that will be tomorrow? First, second, third? What order on the card? What all the way up to last? <laughs> yes. What order? What number are we? Are we I'm, the main I'm, event? I'm guessing you're. Are we the main event? I'm guessing you're. Uh, you're uh, right before intermission, uh, like last time. Is that our place on the card? Is that your? I think that's right your place. Intermission. That's, that's a good. Inter- yes, in- intermission. Yes. Uh, <laughs> like I don't know. Maybe it's you. I don't know. It could be replaced by Doink. I'm just curious what the fans think. That's all. Are you excited to meet Doink the Clown tomorrow, Kingpin? Um, I mean, did you, you grow- drive me out to the cemetery where he's buried? What? Or- what? 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 Are we talking what? About? Doink the Clown. I'd love gonna- to meet the real you do- Doink. The do you know? <laughs> Wait, do-, do you do you know who's on the show tomorrow? Run down the card. Let's run oh, down the card for the people. I'm not gonna run down the card. I'm gonna run down the card for Brian. I love the meat special. special. Apparently, you, you baby got shower, like Jay, you know Brian's. Jason Glory is gonna be there. You remember him? Uh, he was course. around when you you stepped through that time warp to right now. Indeed. Have you ever wrestled um, Jason Glory? I don't believe so. Maybe a multi man match. I feel like I, don't I think feel so. like you'd remember that. Yeah. So because no, I don't he, think so. He would have bit you. Fair enough. Have you ever been bit? Have you ever spit in a girl's mouth? <laughs> I've been bit. I've never spit in a girl's mouth. Though. I've never been bit. Are we talking about? 
Are we still mm-hmm. talking about wrestling? I was just answering. <laughs> I was just you, answering you your asked question. us if we ever been bit. <laughs> I've never been bit. No, not that I can remember. Not recently. Okay. 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 Uh, Bradley says you guys could do a triple headlock takeover. That's a good one. Okay. Okay. That, that's a good one. Bradley, yeah. how many hickeys did you give Tyler Klein? Okay, moving on with that. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, what else is going on tomorrow? No, uh, let's see. No, Doink's taking on AJ Alexander. And then there's a bunch of other guys. I don't remember their names because they're uh, not. Rad Boys versus Tito and Dawn. That should be pretty good. Yes. There's that uh, Preston Everest who talks to Turtles. Uh, doing something, too. He's taking on Peyton Graham, actually, who's returning to wrestling. Yeah, Preston generally. and uh, Peyton. Yep. That should be good. Yeah, that should, that, that's actually. John Roden and uh, Thick Vic. Yes, that's uh, Vic Braun, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. One Sexy Fireman's in the in wrestling for the prospect top prospect championship. That's right. Well, he's not the Sexy Fireman anymore. Oh, well, I know he's, he's the big the rig. Big rig. The big rig. Do you know why they call him that? I was. I've been curious, but I'm not well, sure. If I, I can know tell the you. I can tell you right now. Okay. I'm, I've uh, been informed that the fireman firemen work mm-hmm. as a team. Okay. But the big rig, he's out there on the road all alone. <laughs> that's a good explanation that's the explanation i was given <laughs> all right fireman well i don't work with like the firemen and his new like attitude. there he goes on big his rig own again on the road all alone when you see a big rig truck going down the road who's in it one man one woman i like one person Jason possibly Tyler. a prostitute also but he could be champ tomorrow that's then. one in the same he could he could walk he could out be of champ, that champ tomorrow wow well, good champion. for him how would the big but but yes. he's not just facing the champion, Jamie Jameson. You also have Remy LeVay. Mm-hmm. So th- the mind eraser. Triple threat. <laughs> is he still a mind eraser? Yes. Yes. A racer? Is he still a racer of the minds? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay. He, he sure is. Okay. <laughs> I heard he erased Bret Hart's mind once at the Mega <laughs> Superstars. Or whatever. I think he did. <laughs> <laughs> I think he did. Huh. Huh. Well, that's going to be tough for the champ to retain because he doesn't have to be pinned or submitted to lose his title. So that's yep, that that's is, a big match for Remy yep. and for Fireman. Those are Rick, those are me. the rules of a triple threat. That's this that's big time. That's right. All right. Yeah, I used to like sexy Fireman. He used to be fun and good at fast food places with me, but now he's all in good shape and has a bad attitude and. It's a piece of shit, man. He has yeah. lost a lot of weight. I wonder how he did that. That is tremendous. I know yeah, he was doing the keto, but keto. then I he also asked me, "Hey, hey, Floxer, you want to go to you want to go to CC's? Yeah, Where's there's a CC's, CC's around here? <laughs> well, it's two hours away in West Virginia." And I say, That's "Okay," like and then I go on Snapchat. I'm eating pizzas whenever he's supposed to be on his diet. Mm. So he's still eating pizzas. Ah, oh, that was like last time I went was months ago. Wow, there you go. Caesars is the worst. I can eat Pizza Hut and Little Caesars and Domino's every once in a while, but like Caesars, like my guess is it's just all diet, just harder work. That's how he's done it. I mean, what do you guys think? I think <laughs> it's the uh, the all the weight he lost was yeah. the other three of the four Hossmen that he he shedded them, and now he's a new man. Okay. Mm. Well, you guys, as of this recording, 2PW, uh, if uh, Xmas Chaos, I think we have to say the X, right? Is that the official branding? Yes. Uh, if you're catching this later, that'll be up on IndieWrestling.us, whether it be on the network or VODs or on the YouTube membership. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, STDs, Chess Flexor. Thank you for the uh, Daddy the Flexor. Shower. Daddy Flexor. I love the gifts, so they will be used. I will send you videos and or pictures of the use use of the fantastic diaper diaper destructors. What diaper destructors? The the guns you gave me to shoot the baby diapers. Mm-hmm. We hang the b- dirty baby diapers from strings and we shoot them in the studio. You said no, next no, Christmas. Oh, no, uh, you don't know about that. Next Christmas, yes, I we'll... saved them up for a year. And then next Christmas, we hang them from the studio lights, and then we bring these guns back, and we shoot them. This is why we need more room. 
exactly here in 2022. So, well, thank you. And of course, thank you. Kingpin. Thank you. Join us again. One day you're just going to have to have him just for an interview, just for an interview, not this half-assed Christmas turned into a, a baby shower movie critic event that we did today trying not to spoil spider-man you kind of did at the one part though. that's a sh- he's gonna edit that out that's okay it's in the commercials he'll be in the commercials this weekend i'm sure so everybody knows what happens everybody already knows Come i on. haven't seen it and i already know what i know i know the oh we know what i don't know what in the movie i'll tell you i'll tell you later. <laughs> danny Face devito time. he shows up as the penguin <laughs> he's like he's i started like, blasting where's batman they're like Danny, get the fuck out of here. I this forgot is he's Spider-Man. Penguin, yeah, and Batman. He was awesome in that. We're so old now. There's probably some kids who White never even seen sword. that one. Yep. Low calories. Yep. Right? Yes. Low calories and yes. Smart. It's my it's my deal. You it's doing deal. uh you still doing the Apple Fitness Plus thing? Uh yeah, mostly. Mostly. How's that working? Doing, out it's a, not, not not good lately. Mm. Not good lately. I've fallen off the I've fallen off the hill a little bit. We're getting back up. That'll yeah. be the new year. You look good, Sorg. Oh, thank you. You look good. Thank a- you, Brian. Apple Fitness. Are you eating a lot of a- apples or something? I am actually. Yeah. Keeping that doctor <laughs> away. Well, more fruit in the diet. Trying to, uh, you know, make good decisions. So, hmm. been, been working at it for a little bit. So. I don't like that. I don't Bananas, like, don't like berries. That. I'm not making good decisions. I like, I like you whenever you get coerced into doing bad things. Bad decisions. Well, we haven't been on a trip for a while, have we? We need to go on. Well, let's uh, this Vegas trip together. Let's go somewhere else. Vegas, Seven Springs. I'm down for all of it. Let's go to Seven Springs. I've already been to Seven Springs a couple know, times. We don't I have know. the snow like we had the past couple years, but it's getting there. Let's go to Vermont. I was in Vermont yeah, a couple I've weeks ago. Yeah, I've been wanting ago. to go to Vegas, so we should go to Vegas. Let's, should we See, do this? You guys say sure. that yet? I wanted to. Go you went you whenever everything. Ago, and nobody went with me. Everything was closed down whenever you went. Well, I didn't know that, but. <laughs> the internet He's like, didn't, it's, no, no, no. It's 2020. Everything was open on, on Vegas.com, shows these, and these everything. These flights are really cheap. I wonder why. Well, no, the flight went, actually wasn't that cheap. Hotels were cheap, but yeah. that's a whole different story. The hotel that I stayed at was not a good idea. Tell yeah, I more. think if you would have... Uh, I stayed at, at the Strat. It was 30 bucks a <laughs> night. I should have realized why. Yeah, yeah, it well, was a well. That's okay. Trip, I uh, in yeah. July I stayed at a place in Fort Lauderdale area, and uh, there was a giant noise complaint uh, sticker on the window from the police the second night we were there. So, or okay. it was a a, a a nuisance property sticker that was put on the window, and we're like, "Is it us? Did we do this?" So, anyways, I I will go back to Vegas. Okay, but I have little interest to go back to Vegas after my visit this year. Was Why not, is that? Uh, just. Was a, I also like? It was also 120 degrees on the asphalt for a Formula event, so yeah, well, I, yeah. it was like. So I was like, "Yeah, that was fine." What if we? What if we all go to Saudi Arabia together to court the prince? From I the don't think no, we're I'm making good. it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go not? there. Yeah, let's go. That seems, they might chop off our heads. But... I mean, I was worried about stopping through China on the way to Thailand, and. Uh, <laughs> Also, I forgot I've been in China. Yes. Thanks to Chess Flexor. Yes. And I almost had a problem in China. Yes. You remember those guys with the guns at the air, Beijing airport? I don't remember the guns. No. Wait, did the guys have guns that I was at? I yes, was yes. yelling at my at yes. about my bags. Yes. Okay. What was your problem, Sorg? Of course, they had guns. Your computer stuff. My right? bag didn't make it through. It got stuck on the other side after I went through the metal detectors, and I'm like, "Excuse me, my bag is over there." And then I'm also like, "Should I point in this country?" I can't remember if that's a problem here. Oh right, right. And then they started going through my bag that whole, had all this like video equipment in it, and uh, and uh, and. Uh, and uh, we almost missed our flight. Okay. So, I never knew about that. That's yeah, yeah, that, that was on the way to that Thailand. That makes sense, though, because they don't want your American technology over there. Well, yeah. I will. Listen, <laughs> I mean, don't want trust me. There. If anything left my sight, <laughs> it was getting thrown away. Right. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. If you oh, take yeah. a computer with you, if you take any a phone, anything that you are not okay with parting with in a country like that, yeah. like, you, you need to be. <laughs> so... Like bring a Chromebook, something that you know that like if the, if they walk away with it and it leaves your sight, do not take it, do not do anything but throw it away after your trip or during your trip because they will know everything. So, where's where are the four of us going? Let's 
planet right let's just stay it state it right now so it's in the atmosphere state it right now where are we where are the four of us going i mean i kind of like fort lauderdale texas what's in texas Florida. Florida. i like texas the alamo what's the alamo isn't the alamo in texas what's going on a safari in africa um i think that's difficult right now so i can we You're keep it in a kid, man? You'll be going nowhere for a while. Mm. We'll see. Good yeah, we'll see. Boy. It's going to be boy. skiing with the kid. We'll see. No, oh, that's easy. It's strapped to you. <laughs> It'll be great. Mm. Guys, thank you so much. I think we'll wrap this up here. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us. Uh, Christmas, STD Christmas special. Another fantastic year. Mm, it wasn't that special, but that's because you blindsided me with this baby shower. We had a baby shower. We're I, celebrating I it, but I'm your saying, milestone. Brian's probably upset that he didn't get to meet Santa Claus. Corey's upset because he's Corey. <laughs> and you aren't drunk enough. But I, I do. I did have fun. It was a good time. Brian, how do you rate this on the scale of one to three? As one the best or one I'm not worst? saying. Just saying rate I'll say from two. one to three. Two. So either way, it doesn't really matter. Not the best, not the either worst. Way, How about it? Either way, you've had a great <laughs> middle of the road experience. I'm glad we I'm glad we can provide a great middle of the road <laughs> experience. No, it was for fun. You. It was fun, Sore. Thank All you. Right. Brian, where good. can we find you on the internet? Just at Brian is wrestling on Instagram. That's it. There you go. Catch flex or on the tweets. Twitter, YouTube, uh, Facebook. I have two TikToks, but uh you gotta know how to find them to find them i actually have two facebooks what's tiktok uh, yeah, i'll teach you about it it's something that's a new it's a new thing it's actually an old thing now oh God. but uh you know uh, only fans all that other stuff fat life whatever you get me you get me on the there internet you you'll find me on the internet use the google search then futuristic cory yeah i'm on uh instagram and uh tiktok and twitter my uh, TikTok is probably the best. That's where I put all my weird stuff on there. Definitely. So. I'm a big fan of TikTok. There's a lot of weird videos on there that you can't see anywhere else. If you like seeing strange videos, get a TikTok if you don't have one. Corey's definitely sent me some of the best TikToks I've ever seen. Yeah. You'll see 100%. some like stuff. You'll be like, wow, like I did not know this video existed. It's like worse than Faces of Death. What? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's... Sometimes it'll pop up a video and it'll like scar you for life, but that sounds the, like fun. That's the type of stuff I need in my life. Okay. Do you think Pump couldn't make it because he found out that his the relative AJ Ferrari got signed? Did you hear about that? <laughs> what? Uh, there's a wrestler AJ Ferrari got signed to the WWE. Huh. His brother. I'd only assume it's it's a relative of some sort. He hasn't. He doesn't really talk to me about his family. He told me one time about his family, and that's enough of a reason for him to, for me to never ask about it again. Not because I didn't enjoy it, but the anger that grew inside him, the fire that was burning after he discussed his family. Not necessarily because of his family, but the situation surrounding it, which we're not going to talk about. But I can only assume last name's Ferrari. Pump Ferrari, AJ Ferrari. It's got to be related, right? How many could there be? More than one? Maybe. Maybe. Hundreds. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. Have a happy Christmas. What? Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time in the Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time in the This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.